Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at all the new trends and the new data here coming up. But uh, the bottom line is when I'm looking at this data this afternoon, most of the numbers have gone up. Most of the grand totals between now and the 2nd of March are impressive with some deep bullseyes and they're trending up. Um, so the main storm system of the period is happening now, the one that's really going to set all this up between now and the 23rd, barreling south with an Arctic front, powerful jet support. Then there's going to be a cutoff low. It's going to sit in, in California for like four days and snow hard. Then it will break loose and eject after the main low moves out of Albuquerque because the main storm will set up as an Albuquerque low. Then it moves out. California's low ejects out 26, 27, spreading new snow into the southern tier of the Rockies. Uh, and then there's another storm, at least one more storm, if not two, behind these, behind the cutoff low in California that will nail California in the west coast um, the 28th through the 2nd with big accumulation as it looks right now. I'm even forecasting now up to three feet of snow in the northeast, so it's going to be active up there. And we'll go over all this in my forecast coming up. Um, but I want to take you to first off... Um, what's going on right now, and it's finally now snowing in the Wasatch. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, now it's here, and it's going to snow hard for about 48 hours. It's going to snow quite hard. Um, you've probably got 18 inches coming tonight in Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude, and then probably another foot to 14 tomorrow. So two big back-to-back -back bookended days coming for the Wasatch. Jackson Hole. Two feet in the last three days and 72 hours, snowing hard. Um, you've got snow, additional snow coming. Love seeing it. Let me show you what it looks like right now. Visible satellite, there's our big low, driving south. Really the rut maker, destroying the atmospheric pattern, establishing itself into what we're going to see happen over the next nine, ten days. Big low behind it. Another rider. Low somewhere in here. Two powerful uh, jet branches and the southern branch. The two are meshing um, to create this pattern. There's a lot of jet energy. The winds are howling across the west. Um, and an Arctic front. Let me mark the Arctic front. Right here. That's driving south. Going to open the door to much colder air. Increase the snow ratios. It's got jet support. That's what was driving that northwest flow for about three or four days. So that's all coming. I wrote about it on my blog this morning, ChrisTomer.com. Take a look at it. Active pattern through March 2nd with deep bullseyes. There's your Jackson Hole. There's your pattern. This was the jet pattern from this morning. Let me show you what the afternoon data suggests. Deep trough. Couple areas of low pressure here. You can almost see the breaks in the jet. Powerful jet. Orthogonal to the Sierra. Major accumulations with this. Um, with not only the first low, but maybe even the second. Um, we're going to see some big totals in the Sierra between now and the second. It's not out of the realm of possibility that some places may approach 100 inches as a grand total. We'll see. It's possible. Uh, but that's the jet pattern. Let me take you back. We'll look at timing. Um, Albuquerque low setting up. There's tomorrow morning, 22nd. There's 23rd in the morning. Albuquerque low is gone. Cutoff low spins in California with heavy snow for days on end. Then it, it breaks loose and ejects 26 and 27 and blows through Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. And then it's out of here. And then you can already see the next low hitting the West Coast in California. There's at least one low, maybe even two. So on just like previous updates, I did break out the snow numbers. There's Jackson, all the key dates, and snow numbers. Um, so we've got a lot of snow yet to go. Brighton, Utah, like I said, 18 tonight, another 14 tomorrow. Folks, it's going to be big time. A lot of powder. I have a risk and all um, for Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude. All of those areas are in for a couple of feet over the next 48 hours. Um, Telluride, love Telluride. Um, your biggest day is the 22nd with a big slug of moisture coming in. But you've got snow that may run all the way into the second. Kirkwood. Big snow coming. I was a little bit, um, I went on, let's just say, the low to medium side of the, of, of the data here. Uh, the numbers could well be higher than this, but um, this is what I'm seeing through the 28th. And it will snow beyond the 28th into the second. 
So the numbers just keep accelerating up. Some big days ahead. These are my totals from this morning. Let me show you what I'm seeing this afternoon. Rest of today through the 23rd, you, I had an email come in from, um, was it Revelstoke or Fern, Fernie? You had like 11 last night. You're not going to get another 11 today, but you may get another one inch today. Um, some decent snow through the Sierra with this first phase of about a foot. Um, and like I said, a couple of feet tonight in the next 48 hours for the Wasatch. So some pretty good totals on their way. You can see Colorado just starting to get flushed with moisture. Period 2, 24th through the 2nd. Those are not typos in California. I mean, 60, 70, 80 inches. If that happens, we're at about 100 inches for the grand total in between now and the 2nd of March. Um, another 1 to 2 feet in the Wasatch, another foot for the Tetons. Um, look at Colorado, another foot to 2 feet on the way. Taos, another couple of feet. Let me show you. Period 1, add-on. Period 2, some big grand totals. I mean, all these have trended up. Um, let me just show, I've got a couple of specialty maps. Central and Northern Mountains of Colorado grand totals between now and the second. Generally, one to two feet. These numbers have trended up. I like what I'm seeing right here. Um, Southern Colorado, wow, th these numbers are big. Uh, 50 to 60 inches over Purgatory, Eolas, um, the Chicago Basin 14ers, Wolf Creek, look at that, 63. We could see a foot or more in Durango. These numbers have all trended up. They're big. Um, let me show you the Wasatch. So the bulk of this is going to happen over the next 48 hours. Then we'll add, obviously, to that um, when we could see additional snow down the road with those other storms. We could see two feet of snow in the next 48 hours, and then we'll add more to that down the road. In fact, I think I did break that out. Let me go back, take a look. Um, Brighton, yeah. So you, you've got big snow next uh, 48 hours, and then some little snows all the way out into the first. So um, we're not we're not close to being done yet. All right, let me go and check out um, one last stop, the Northeast. This is big, one to three feet coming. Um, the big dates, I outline those on my blog. Go back and take a look at the key dates. But there are two key storm systems that could drop these types of numbers. Um, and these are high. They've all trended up um, since the last update, but this is what I'm seeing right now. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and enjoy all this new snow and be safe. Take care.